And relief is on the way in the Tar Heel State. Governor Roy Cooper signed two bipartisan COVID-19 relief bills into law today. Then your side, Zina Bedoneshi breaks down what this means for North Carolinians and also what the governor hopes to see the state reopen. Governor Cooper says it could be as early as Tuesday or Wednesday that he'll have more specifics on what phase one of reopening the state could look like. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper says the emergency funding in the two bills signed into law today are just the first step for the Tar Heel State. He says there's more work that will need to be done to repair the damage caused by COVID-19. Cooper says the bills he signed today help small businesses that are the backbone of the community. Today I'll sign into law $125 million to help small businesses through a loan program. He says the legislation also includes $50 million for health programs in underserved communities hit hard by the virus. Plus, we know that the sudden shift to remote learning has been challenging for some students and families. Today's bills provide for feeding school children, summer learning programs to help them catch up, and funding to purchase computers for students who need them. Cooper also spoke about getting to phase one of reopening the state. He says he's hoping specifics about the reopening will come out in the next day or two. We're hoping by tomorrow we can provide all of that information on what we're going to be doing in phase one, and we're still hoping that we can get to phase one uh, because the order will end on May the 8th. He also says if down the road as they start reopening the state, if they see a spike in numbers, they could go back a phase. We don't want to do that, and that's why we're deliberate about going to the next phase. And as we go into phase one, we'll, we'll look at that for at least two weeks and potentially three or, or more, depending on how the data looks, before we go into phase two. Cooper says there was some talk of increasing unemployment benefits in the General Assembly this time, but he says that's been put off to a later time. Deanna Betneshi, 10 on your side.